All right, guys, very exciting news. The XR Toolkit has a new version, which is version 0.10. This new version adds capabilities to the previous features, such as ability to use the locomotion system with a smooth movement. You can also do the same thing with a smooth rotation. Remember that we were able to do a snap rotation before? Well, you can now do a smooth rotation. The same thing with movement. I don't really like it that much because it makes me nauseous, but you're more than welcome to include it in your own game. So the other things that they also included is support to the new input system. So Really excited about that. I've been playing around it with Unity and I'm gonna be showing you how it works. So let's go ahead and check out the Unity scene. All right guys, so we're looking at the demo scene that Unity provides. This is the XR Grab Intractables area. I can do selection. And as I'm selecting objects, the ray is changing colors. That means that it is selected. I'm also getting haptic feedback. So the controller is vibrating. If I use the thumbstick, I can move it forward or backward. If I do left or right on the thumbstick, you can see how I can also rotate it. This one is kinematic. The other one was instantaneous. And the velocity, you're gonna notice that it, it kind of looks like it jiggles a little bit, and that's because it's using a different type of interaction. I can also select it with this one. The other thing that I can also do is I can grab it with my right controller and then left controller. And I can do the same thing with all of them, right? If I wanted to do that one with that one and let it go, or perhaps I wanna throw it. Let's see if I can just throw it. There we go, I try, or I can just do that. But I can also use my snap rotation by just using that on my right controller, which I'm just pressing left and right. Let's go ahead and look at the, the UI interactions. The other thing that I can also do if I hold the button on my left controller, the thing that one is actually the X button. If you hold it, you can teleport and we can teleport on this area because it's a teleporting area. So locomotion is using the snap, you know, snap teleportation feature. I'm gonna show you some of the other as move teleportation here in just a second. Let's go ahead and go back to the UI interactions. And if we want to press on a button, that works. If I want to toggle that checkbox, if I want to select the text box, if I want to do the drop down, you can also do that. And I can also, you know, if I wanted to move this up and down, I can also just do that so that the UI is still, you know, it all works just like it did in the previous versions. Let's go ahead and look at the teleportation. I'm going to teleport to that area. Teleportation there shows me an overlay, so that's another cool feature. And I like this one more than I like the smooth one because this one doesn't make me nauseous, the other one does. So let's go ahead and go into that area and let's look at the complex interactions. There's a llama there that I that I really like to play with. Let me see if I can do, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bring it here and I'm gonna start spitting bubbles. And <laughs> so this is a complex interaction, right? We're using, we're using the trigger button to hold the llama. And at the same time, I'm using another button to actually speed the bubble. So it all, it all works just fine. Let's go ahead and put the llama over there. I think she, she doesn't like to be around the cube. So I'm just gonna put it, oh, it actually fell down. Let's go ahead and move it forward a little bit more. Let me see if I can keep my arm steady. Okay, so more complex interactions. These are other ones. So they, you know, I also getting haptics on this one. These ones are cool because it shows me, you know, the cubes is highlighted by red as soon as I have one selected. I can also bring it close to me. I can also grab it with the other controller or perhaps we can just throw it and let's get it over there. Let's throw that one over there. There we go. Let's go ahead and look at the snap interactions. So I can, also, I can also teleport with my right controller just like I can with my left controller. So that's a cool feature. And let's go ahead and go here. This one shows you, I show you this on previous videos. This is called a socket interactor. And the socket, what it does, it shows you the original position of the, in this case, the helmet. And it's going to place it in that same location. You can also drop it here. You're gonna see how it's going to snap back in. You can also do that with this other tool. And you look at the hammer. I think the hammer is the same thing. If I put the hammer over there next to the llama, it's not really gonna snap to a location. And I think I lost the hammer. And I actually hammer the llama. <laughs> Let me bring it close to me here. But if I drop it here, it's going to find, it's gonna basically collide and based on the collision detection, it's going to snap back in. So that's what the snap interactions are. And then, so we cover the UI interactions, teleportation. Let's go ahead and look at the locomotion configuration. I did this one last because to be honest, it makes me really nauseous to do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to enable the continuous move. Let me see if I can, if I can select that, there we go. And if I do that, I'm going to start moving from left to right. I can also change the speed of the movement. So if I go, you know, if I increase it all the way to 10, 10.6 in this case, I can do continuous movement. Let me go ahead and bring that down, something like this, so I don't really get as easy. 
if we want to do the same thing, so remember, the, the, the snap turn, it does it on a certain amount of degrees. In this case, it's 45 degree angle. But if you wanted to change that, you can go into this drop down. But what if you wanted to do a continuous turn? You can also do that, and I'm going to get really dizzy. So you can also change the speed of the rotation. So I'm not going to use that, and I'm also not going to use the continuous movement. You also have other features that are really helpful. So if I were to press down on the actual thumbstick, I can also look back, right? I can turn around completely, or I can turn around if I do back uh, down again. But I can disable it here if I don't want to use that. I can disable it or turn it back on. I can do also that on a snable strafe if you want to use that feature. If you want to use gravity and then some other features, there's a lot of features added to the locomotion configuration. So as far as this goes, I think I'm going to call it good. Let's go ahead and look at Unity and see how some of these features are configured. So the first thing that I want to show you is that this repo comes from Unity Technologies XR Interaction Toolkit examples. Make sure that you download it or clone it so that you can look at what I'm looking at. So once you do that, you're going to be looking at some of the scenes. So if we go into asset scenes, there are multiple scenes in here. One of them looks like it's deprecated. And the one that I'm looking at right now is the world interaction demo. So this is the one that we were just looking at in Unity. It has all the different components in here that you can, you know, you can experiment with, just like I did when we were experimenting in VR. So what I want to show you is some of the changes on the XR rig demo uh, component. So this one has a lot of components, and most of these components are going to be, you know, some of the key elements that you're going to need for your VR experience. The XR rig, this didn't really change much that, you know, that I remember from the previous versions. But in here, you can look at, you know, how to set it up. You can also look at the snap term provider. This one, they did some organization on most of these components, so the layout might look a little bit different to previous versions. You know, right now we're using 0 0.10, but any previous version might look different. And specifically with the, the input, you know, the actual new input system that Unity provides. So if you look at the snap term provider, you're going to see that it's not the same. You used to be able to choose which buttons to select. And in this case, they're using the new input system. So you're going to see, you know, this comes from the actual new input system, which is really cool. You can see that this one, this action is labeled turn and is using the primary to the axis on the on the left hand controller. And if you click on it, you're going to see a lot of a lot more features that you were able to select in the previous versions. So new input system, all the things in here, you can see the bounce time, enable turn left, eh, enable turn left and right, enable turn around. So this is a feature that we were looking at on the UI. Locomotion system, this didn't change. You still need your XR rig. Teleportation provider, that there's no changes in here that I can see from the inspector. This is a new component, the continuous turn provider. And this is the one that allowed me to, to turn in a continuous manner. It felt more like, you know, like I said, using a player controller. It makes me really dizzy, so I'm not going to use this unless it's really required. And then the movement as well, the continuous move, move provider, it's the one that allows me to move just like if I was using a player controller, or in this case, the character controller. So if you watch my videos, you're going to notice that I did I did a player controller for XR in the previous version. So I'm not going to be using that anymore because they actually incorporated that in this version. You can change some of the settings. You can change the speed. You can change, you know, whether you use a strafe or not. If you want to use gravity, you know, what type of gravity application mode you want to use. If you want to use immediate you know, application of gravity, or if you want to use attempting to move. I haven't really noticed much of a change there, but you can play with that. And then also what the left hand move action is going to be also uses a new input system, also the one for the right hand. And then they're using the character controller. So they're inheriting from that, which is really cool because that is one of the components that are core to Unity. So I'm glad that they're using this component. Also the, the character controller driver is going to be required if you're using the character controller with the continuous turn provider and continuous move provider. And the locomotion scheme manager is something, I guess it puts everything together. But some of the components in here is basically a bunch of references to some of these components. So just make sure that you use this example for, you know, as a basis of what you're building. And the other things I'm not going to go through because I think we can go through that in separate videos. I just wanted to show you some of the components that were included in this version. And if you want to know how to get it from the package, you know, the package manager, you can also go into the package manager and make sure that you, you know, you enable the preview packages because this is still in preview. You can click on advanced 
And you can see that it's going to show you, it's going to give you the option to show preview packages. If you're using 2020, this option is no longer here. You're going to see a settings icon. Make sure you click on that and then there's going to be an advanced, an advanced option that is, is going to allow you to show preview packages. So once you do that, you're going to be able to select this. So you can just do XR. And if you look at, if you look at some of the components in here, you're going to see that the option, the one that we're looking at is going to be the XR interaction toolkit and it's version 0.10.0 preview that seven. You can also look at some of the examples if you wanted to update the examples. And they also include an XR device simulator, which I haven't used yet, but we'll use in future videos. So it's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know.